Hi guys, it's Cindy from Cindy Loves Jewelry. I know it's been a while. It's been like over a week since I made a video. And um, I seriously just haven't bought any jewelry in the past couple of weeks. So um, I got a lot today from my friend in Pennsylvania. I love you, friend. You know who you are. And um, she sends me really cool stuff. This is not all jewelry but a lot of it is and so i'm going to just share it with you and i'm going to go through it try to go through it quick because i don't like to make long videos i don't enjoy watching long videos so i don't like making long videos so this is really cool and i really don't know why it does this why it has this but anyway you can't see it if i'm holding it down like this and i'm looking down it is a little jewelry bottle and it's from Avon and it has a little dangly and so it's really cute it'll go in one of my booths so these are neat they're called ice creepers for women and they are literally that they're just a strap on thing that's got a little little teeth that bites into the eyes I don't see any kind of date on them so I'll do a little research to see more than likely, they, along with the bottle, will go to my booth, one of my booths. So, this right here is Adorbs, to quote somebody. I think that is Jimmy from um, Princess Casserole's husband, Jimmy. I think he's the one that says Adorbs. Anyway, it has an original price tag on it, 49 cents. It's just a little... Um, she kind of looks like Holly Hobby, one of the Holly Hobbies. Anyway, it says on the back, it says Harmart Charmer Purse, and then it's got the numbers Kansas City, made in Japan. This, too, is another Adorbs thing. No clue what it's from, where it's from. Let's see. Let's see if I take those out, if I can read what that says. It says. Poco, Poco Mountains. So, Pocono Mountains, Pennsylvania. It is a little go tone pen and pencil set. They've got little rhinestones on them. There's a little rhinestone on the case. And it's adorbs, too. So, anyway, these are really neat. I just love them. I love them. So, um, I kind of want to see if I can cover up her name not that she may not even be alive can you see that it says December 22nd 1939 is when that was returned stamped and it says stringing along with the same old birthday line and it's this and uh, let me just see it's the Hampton Card Company that has a ship on the back. And um, then a little birthday card inside. It says, and it's still a live wire. Shock, happy birthday. And that one was from Aunt Theo, whoever Aunt Theo is. And um, this one here is to the same person. Same date, December the 22nd, 1939. And it was stamped Lock Haven, Pennsylvania, and uh, it says, am I in hot water for getting your birthday, and it has a mop, and it is hair, and, but I can still rise and shine with my best wishes, many happy returns, Grandma, so, very cute, so, 1939, same Card Company, Hampton, 2317, made in the USA. Very, very cool. Very cool. I like it. Move my hat. Move my phone. So, this is neat. I do not know if this is vintage. But it is a hat. And it is, it says, coat inside of it. And... I think it is adorable. So, let's see. Where's 
there's the little thing so let's see does it go like so like so yes so <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna wear it for the rest of the thing but it's really cool and yeah my hair is wild my, I, I need a haircut desperately but I just don't know what I want to do with it so it stays I'm lifting that's heavy okay so let me get out my little thing here and I may not be able to see what all this says okay I have a leaf it says Rogers 1881 And that says 1889, and that is George Washington on that spoon. I do not believe it's not silver. That stuff is not coming off, so it's cool. It's a little touristy item. Uh, it'll go to a booth. So this is cool. It says, let's see, bag and glove holder, 22 karat gold plated. It has the little lid and it comes out and it looks like that. And this holds, this clips your gloves. You clip your gloves in this and then you can loop your bag on that. So very cool, very neat. I like it. I had a price on the bottom that said a dollar, but Lord knows we're going to sell it for more than a dollar in the booth. <laughs> anyway, so, so this is just a little velvet box. I'm sure these didn't come in it because they don't fit in it right, but they are, they feel like a little glass bead. Very... Like there's um, fabric that is beaded onto down inside of it. Very pretty. Almost a cranberry color. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like it. So, anyway. Isn't this another adorable little thing? It's a puppy. And he's looking out in his little tail waggies. And he is actually a top hat. Tie tack attack pin. And it says artifacts. And, let's see, L50, 60, 70, 86, so 1986. Yay, I know my Roman numerals. <laughs> this is very pretty, very unique. I believe it is fairly old. I don't know. It has no maker's mark on it. It's really cool. I think these are just, I really feel like they're a plastic of some kind, but this right here is really cool. And so I was showing it to you backwards. Let me turn it back around so you can see that the stones are on both sides. Let's see. I have my magnet here. Non-magnetic. Non-magnetic. Is there any of that sticking? So, very, very cute. Very interesting. <clears throat> Will be an eBay. I'm sure. This one here is still in the box. Um, now I never even pulled it out to see. Has no hang tag. I don't, I don't see any signature on the back of it. But it does say Liz Claiborne. And more than likely, it'll go in one of my booths. Very nice. This is cool. I've never seen anything like this. And 
Hmm. It just smells like it came from an auction. Anyway, it is plastic. So I will probably test it for um, to see if it's baked a lot. But I don't think it is. There was not a smell in the. I mean, it just smelled like old stuff, but not make a lot of old stuff. This is really cute. Somebody done this. It's a sampler. It says, Don't rush me. And I'm going to bend it down. She's in a bath. Somebody's at the sink, and it has a date on it of 1976. There it is down here in the corner. So, definitely vintage. Definitely cool. Not sure. More than likely a booth item. But, you never know. So, this little box. And what's cool, what is so fun about this, is that when I get it and I open it, it's all, she wraps all of these things individually. So, it's like opening packages and packages. Very fun. Beautiful little trinket box. Um... It is non-magnetic. Uh, it says it's made in Hong Kong. I don't. It's not so far out. I'm just pretty 100% sure. So, it's full of treasures. Treasures. We love treasures. This is very cool. It's made nearly just like the other one. Just like the other one. Except for... See, I see. Hey, our bracelets. How cool is that? Very, very cool. And you've got a oops, black stone. Let's see. A black stone and a brown and black stone. So that's really neat. And I skimmed through this jewelry very quickly. I didn't look at it. Marks. I didn't look at anything. I just, oops. More bracelets. It looks like made by the same person. Same style. So, I would guess they're handmade. Which actually makes me think, or is that one over there? Because it has the same kind. And this one is white. This one is purple. And I dropped one in the floor. And... Well, this is a little bit different style, but in a way it's not. It's the same. The blue, and then this beautiful royal blue. Beautiful, beautiful. And give me my, give me my loopy. Yeah, they they have a little bit of magnetism to them, so they're not they're not sterling. So, and let's see. I hate doing this, but. And a brown one. Well, an uh, amber charmed one. So, very, very, very cute. Oh, man, I stopped the video accidentally, so I have to splice these together. I'm sorry about that. So, a very nice Christmas brooch. A nice little belt buckle that says Anson. It also says Sterling on it. Surely not. Huh. But it is engravable. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, these are super cool. On magnetic leaf twist, no signature. Is that a signature? I don't think it's a signature. Nope. Sterling. Sterling, very nice. We like sterling. <laughs> uh, not sure what all those are. Just odds and ends. So we'll stick all that back in there. Very cute. Okay. 
so let's see here. I can find both of those. These here, I don't think they have dates on them. Made by Cody. New York. Um, this one is Sandal and Sable and Sandal and Sable. Very cute. They'll go to my booth. Booth. Um, scarf clip. Lion. Really cute. No signature. And Klein was originally $39 marked down on sale to $4.99. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Most definitely will go online. Uh, probably, yeah, go online. Uh, stretch bracelet. A U B C W of A A F L C I O a union pin from 1961 and it says it says something on the back and I'm trying to I want to see if I can see what it says. It says what does it say? Yep, I can't read what it says. It says there we go. It always helps when you try to read things the right way. Do what I need. Let's see. There. I need the big one. Sometimes my little loop makes my head hurt. I can usually see through my little loop bigger, even though my big loop is actually stronger. It's a 40 to 25, 40 dat times 25 millimeter. This one here is a 10 times to 18 millimeter but I can just see made in BBCO um, anyway I can't tell what it says it's a, a vintage I have to do some research on that to see where I'll sell it um, let's get this little box this little box was very interesting I have no idea what this is. So if you know, please tell me. I I'd lean towards a belt buckle. Um, that's what it looks like on the back. But no clue. No absolute clue. These here, I truly believe and let's see. There is two of them. And I know that it, there are is and they say what did they say on them? LCI Louis Claiborne uh, sweater clips scarf clip no, I really don't feel like it's a, or even a shoe clip I think it, I seriously think they're shoe clips so um, red earrings metal earrings I'm trying to get to the other one because I know there's two of them well I said I knew there was two of them Maybe there's just one. Anyway, so isn't this pretty? It's a heavy duty chain. I'm sure it's magnetic. And it has a matching bracelet. And let's just see. Non magnetic. Mm. Nope, it's magnetic. So, yep, magnetic. And uh, very interesting. Uh, heavy duty. So, who remembers these? You remember these? Spoon rings. So, I don't see if it says if it's sterling or not. I don't think so. Maybe. Trying to. I don't think so. Um, this is really neat. And. It's a bracelet. Magnetic. This is a kitty cat charm. Princess Casserole. This is a kitty cat charm. 
and let's see. I'm pretty sure. Oh, go figure. It says JJ on the back. I knew it did. It was, I mean, it just is traditional JJ style. You just, you know it when you see it. This is a button cover, but it's lost its innards, its thing here, but it slides in over a button. And this right here is really cool. It is, I think, very mod looking, very modern. Um, those don't open. They don't, they don't have any opening. Very cool. And magnetic. So, that's a neat box of jewelry. I love jewelry. Did you guys know that? <laughs> I just threw something in the floor. Oops me. I'll be crawling under my desk and get out here in a little bit. So, this is really different. I have never seen shells like this. In fact, I've looked at them very... But you know what they are? They're little bitty. They look like little bitty muscle shells. But I've never seen a white muscle shell. Anyway, they're teeny tiny, and then the other one's just other shells, and it goes like that, and it's broke right there, so I'll have to figure out some way to get a uh, thing on there. Hmm. These are pretty, and they are signed Germany. They're pretty, pretty, pretty. Just a little four-strand beads. These are really pretty. They are not real pearls. They're not individually knotted, and they have a lot of wear on them. They are very old. You can tell, and you can also feel there is years of what feels like hairspray and perfume and grime on them. So, this is some kind of a dyed something. Shell... I don't know. Anyway, it came apart. There's another part to it. It came. And these are just the little metal beads. And there's no signature on that latch. And these are just little black beads. And there are no is there is a signature and it looks just from initial looks, it looks like it may say West Germany. Uh, Germany. Nope, just Germany, not West. But they're old. Very cool. Beads, beads. Beads, my kingdom for a bead. Uh, a little travel alarm clock, and I'm sure it winds up. Let's see. If we can wind it a little bit. And... Okay, I can hear it ticking. And the alarm works. Very cool. Those are cool. It actually still has its protective cover over the faceplate. So, very neat. Booth. Uh, I'm laying some things here that, that are toys. A bolo. And, um, let's see if I can... I'm pretty sure that is a Mason symbol or an Eastern Star symbol. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's an Eastern Star symbol. I don't know a lot about them, but I, I think it... But it really should be a Mason symbol because... Well, I guess women can wear bolos. I don't know. Anybody have a clue? Do you recognize? Do you recognize? Is it... Is it Mason or is it Eastern Star? Leave a comment, please. There's my sweet note from my sweet friend. She's so sweet. Okay, this ring is, like, gorgeous. And it says Dominique in the thing. Is that not pretty? Let's see if I can get a better shot of it. Maybe we'll pull it off and show you here. But, there. That middle stone is pink. There is no printing in it. None. Not a zilch. 
Zero. None. <laughs> and the metallic on it, the metal is magnetic. So I'm pulling out some little bitty, bitty things. Isn't that cute? He's a little mousy on a pin. Aha, there's the other clip. And they say LCI. And these are just awesome little toy things. And um, this little airplane keeps coming apart. I may have to see if jewelry glue will keep him together. Jewelry glue is pretty strong. So we'll try. Anyway. He does, uh, maybe if I just clean out the old glue, he does snap back together very well. But he's still missing parts, but he's really cool. Let's see. What did I get there? He's got a little nose there, so that puts that there. But I'm not positive that nose goes on there, so. Anyway, but he's cute. A little plastic truck. All that stuff will just go in a baggie. Uh, junior Fire Chief badge. Elect Field Sheriff pen. I showed you the little mouse. Let's see. Oh, his little tail pulls out. He is really cute. He is very cute. He has something printed on him. Let us see what he says. He says, Hong Kong. <laughs> and a little... CJGG. A little pig on a surfboard. He almost looks like the little Piggly Wiggly pig. Do you do that? I mean, I know that things that are in the auction can come from anywhere, but... I would think, since this auction probably was in Pennsylvania, maybe over in Ohio, I don't know. I don't know where she goes to auction, but anyway, do you guys have, did you guys have Piggly Wiggly in Pennsylvania, in Ohio? Uh, I was under the impression that it was just a southern grocery store, so I could be wrong. So these are little um, religious charms. They have Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Mary... The mother of Jesus and Mary the mother of Jesus on them and then there's some little flower ones and there there are two of those on that one and there really shouldn't be two actually no there's not two of them they just that one slid apart and so there's those and they're in a cute little pink tin there's some cool stuff in this in this tin um so I'm making face as at you guys. Uh, another one of those. Some of those more of those bracelets. Pink and green this time. Those are really cool. Okay. This is really pretty. And I see. Let's see what this says. I don't think it says anything. It's just a. Uh, hmm. World with a letter. I don't know. But I'm not sure about these. There's actually two very similar. And I'm holding them. Let's see. It always helps when I turn it around. So, little crosses with blue. And then they have AB stones and faux pearls around them. They're missing no stones in either one. And they almost look like that is shell or mother of pearl. They're really pretty. I want to see. Let's see. I didn't unfasten them earlier. I want to see if it says anything on the latch. Do not believe so. Nope. Nothing on the latch. Very cool. Very, very cool. They look old. They look old to me. They are, they look like they're re religious 
destroyed that one. I don't see that same mark on that. I just don't know what that mark is. And it's one of those days, I guess it's because of the weather. I don't know why, but because of the weather that my head hurts really bad. And uh, it, uh, I can't hardly look through the loop. It, it makes it, it makes my head hurt even worse. So, I know that's silly, but it is what it is. So, and I'm twisting this little seal around here. I want to see if I can get in here. Here's the phone ringing and it's the TV. I hope there's something on it. I really think that says 925 on it, but if it does, it's Vermeil because it's gold tone. And of course, I got my big fat finger in the way. And that chain is wanting to be in my way. Let's see, just see. Yeah. Anyway, I'll just show it to you. It it's um it's a choker. And it has a little seal on it, and I believe that says 925 in it. So that make means that it would be Verm Vermal, Vermay, however you say it, Vermay. Anyway, I believe the little seal says 925 in it. Oh, I don't want to put that in there. And I don't want to put that in there. I want to put them back in my tin. This here is going to be hard to read. But we're going to try. Ladies Auxiliary VFW. Okay. It's a little Ladies Auxiliary VFW brooch. And this one here. Did that have a year on it? No. This one here is Ladies Auxiliary Brooch, and it says 10 on the bottom, so I'm assuming not uh, 2010, because I really don't think it would be earlier than that. And this little guy is cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Can we just, like, create, uh, coin the phrase, uh, Carolyn, Princess Cassero, can we coin the phrase... Jimmy says it's adorbs because I'm pretty sure Jimmy would think this is adorbs. It's a kitty cat on a key ring. This one here is a locket. It's really cute. Really nice. I see no marks in on the outside of it. And watch me. I had it open earlier. Watch me not be able to open it for this silly video. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Get your finger in it, Cindy. Get your finger in it. Let's see. Uh -huh. That's, it's not the kind. The innards don't come out. No, the innards don't come out. A lot of times, if the innards, wait, if the innards come out, you can see if there's markings up under it. Anyway, the innards don't come out. I can't get them out. Um, no picture. Obviously, they loved their loved one, and they took the picture out. So, very nice. It's a very nice piece. And I know you're probably tired of me saying that. I'm sorry. I am a person who repeats herself all the time. Constantly, day in and day out, I repeat myself. And so we're going to look at this. I see something on the little thing in the bottom right there. You know, my biggest problem is my magnet wants to stick. I have my magnet and my, uh, uh, I don't know what that is. I don't think it's anything. Let's see. Watch. Yeah, it's magnetic. So, I got a piece on there. Um, um, it's a little floating heart. <laughs> and it's actually upside down now. Let's see if the heart is magnetic. I hear my husband come. The heart was highly magnetic. I hear my honey coming in. He's been walking for his hour. Hi, baby. I'm still making my video. That's cute.
cute. Bless you. Uh, they have a moonstone look, but they're plastic beads. Very cute. Okay. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Oh, that's not a... I actually thought this was a Ten Commandment bracelet. And it's actually the Beatitudes. So, blessed. Blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed because I have wonderful friends. Like my friend who sent me this treasure. Yes. Thank you, friend. This is very interesting. I have no clue what it is. That's very interesting. It has no marks on it. Oh, wait. It does have a mark on it. What does that say? It says... Justin's. Justin makes class rings. Anyway, they made this little crown pendant that's on a necklace. Nice. I'm saving my favorite piece in here for last. I like to do this. This is neat. It's um, it's a brooch. Oh, no, a pendant. It has King Tut, and I'm not sure what King Tut has with him here. I just don't know. It's really different. No signature. So if that one was not um, okay. This one here is Niagara Falls bracelet. It has Niagara Falls and then it has Canadian <coughs> gold tone Canadian diamonds in it. <coughs> I'm sorry you guys. Mm. <coughs> Let me pull this off. They have this on bubbly bubbly something. So, oh, that is really pretty. It is a clip-on earring, and it's a sapphire. Look, keen stone it. If it's, it's probably a man-made sapphire, a, a lab-originated sapphire, and uh, it has um. They, it looks like it has diamonds all around it, but it's actually brilliant cut metal. That has lines cutting it to look like stone. I think. I don't. It doesn't appear to have real stones in it. So. Yep. It's just the metal. It's how the metal's cut. That is really pretty. And it's magnetic. And I believe it is Avon. I see a little dot. I'm pretty sure that's Avon. So that's really nice. These are really gorgeous. Um, they're plastic, uh, like a thermoset plastic. I don't see any signature on them. I looked at them earlier. I don't see any kind of signature. But man, they're pretty. A really nice clip on. So, very cute. And are these... Stop and think before you drink, then don't. So this is obviously a MAD bracelet, a Mothers Against Drunk Driving bracelet. Um, ten. It looks like the, maybe it's the Ten Commandments of MAD or Ten Commandments of AA, I don't know. Anyway, it's against dri driving drunk, drinking. So it may just be against, it may be an AA bracelet. So, okay, this is beautiful. I don't know that the, 
video is going to pick it up, but I'm going to try to show you. Can you see that? It looks like, I'm guessing it, it almost looks like opal glass, not an opal stone, but opal glass. It has rhinestones around it. Opal glass is, would be my guess. Opal glass. If I'm guessing. And it would totally be a guess. See, no markings at all on it. Okay, the veil and the wire. The veil. The veil. The pendant is not magnetic. The chain is highly magnetic. But the chain almost looks a different color, so it could be a diff It could have just been put on a chain. Okay, one of my favorites. <laughs> Y'all know I love me some bling. You know it. You know it, girlfriends, boyfriends, if you're out there. <laughs> That sounded a little weird, didn't it? So, no signature on them. Anywhere. But look at that. Is that not magnificent? It's beautimous, 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 beautimous. And you know, it's hard to really catch how pretty that is. Let's see. Now you can see it kind of has a rainbow glass look just beautiful but no signature none of that so and then last but not least this little darling is just so pretty and that makes my sacred micro mosaic and it's so pretty that probably will go on my dresser with my other micro mosaic so so that is all thank you for being here today with me um if you saw something that i incorrectly identified please correct me please tell me no that's not it just tell me it's something else uh please leave a thumbs up you know thumbs up we all like thumbs up and please leave comments on the video and thank you for coming and taking your time to view my video have a wonderful evening bye stay safe if it's storming where you are we had bad storms today so be safe be blessed be kind. Bye-bye.